This is our, project, our senior design project. Our objectives were to make an interactive, attractive display for the Echo Center down on the waterfront. Uh, we thought the best course of action to do this was to include lots of lights and bubbles and just general, generally a lot of cool things to attract you. Um, also, we include the Xbox Connect so that you, the users can attack, or, uh, interact with it however they please. Um, we built this as a, this uh, device serves as a model for the future, for, this device serves as a model for future displays at Echo. Alright, so the way we built this, we split this up into three different systems. We had the electrical system, we had the plumbing, and we had the structure system. The structure we built out of 80-20 frame, it's a slot of aluminum. Uh, we had to build in a couple of gusset plates, and overall it turned out to be pretty good support. You can see it doesn't want to move, especially since it's held with 500 pounds of water. This is our FFT model. This shows the, the frequency spectrum of whatever is being played in the background or people talking, uh, spe specifically music. Uh, it's got the low frequencies on the left and it's got the high frequencies on the right. And it's just overall responsive to whatever audio interface it can have. This doesn't use the Xbox. It is another layer of user interaction. Okay, so to display the Xbox Connect, first you need to lock in by doing this position. This helps lock in each of your whims. It assigns coordinates to um, certain different parts of your body. Now that it has me locked in, it will begin doing patterns. And on the left side, I control that with my left hand. On the right side, I control that with my right hand. I can raise it up and down, move it in, move it out, and I can cross my arms and it'll still go. And now it's switched to another function that allows me to paint almost different lights depending on my location, with, and I can use both hands to do it. Um, so yeah. And then if you move out of the frame, uh, it takes a second and then it clears everything and goes back to ambient mode. <laughs>